Question 47 is How important is quality of life? True quality of life is very important, at least most people on earth would probably say so, but how can one define true quality? It is somewhat difficult to do so because one's quality of life is really a personal inner experience. Naturally, if one is forever ill, or if we are lacking in what we may consider our basic necessities, food, shelter, clothing and so forth, we may consider our life to lack true quality. Yet most of us will at some point have seen people on TV whose lives are far more challenging and materially deprived than most people who will read this book. Yet, despite their comparative financial poverty, many of these people are still able to find more happiness and quality moments in their lives than many with large amounts of money in their bank accounts. In other words, material comforts and a life filled with possessions can never guarantee true quality. It is a fact that many people with financial security, and even those who are quite famous, still suffer from depression and sometimes end their own physical lives. So clearly these people felt that something was missing or wrong with their lives. What is commonly lacking is recognition of our spiritual nature. Without awareness that life is more than a material experience I believe a true and deeper quality of life will always be missing. It is when we recognize our true nature as eternal spirit beings and live a loving, caring and sharing life in which we help each other, that we find an inner sense of quality, greater happiness, contentment, and peace. This is really quality of life, a quality that recognizes our spirit and that the material life is a temporary transient experience. Quality moments on earth can often be found in the simple things, a walk in a beautiful garden on a sunny day, or listening to some inspiring or uplifting music, or finding the joy in something comical, for example. I recently stood looking out of my front window at several different species of birds feeding on seeds and other bird foods that we put out for them and went into a quality moment akin to meditation. It was lovely, and inspired me to share this herein. We can all find quality moments in life and in our reflections, I know that many older parents look back in their memories to cherished moments spent with their children when they were still young. Sadly, I believe that it is the widespread lack of genuine spiritual knowledge that leaves many millions of people floundering in the dark and following unadvisable pathways. Many seek greater and greater degrees of financial wealth and to feel that they are powerful. Yet, unconsciously, what they are really seeking is for something that seems destined to remain for them an elusive unknown. Of course, the elusive missing ingredient to their lives that prevents peaceful contentment and true quality is awareness of their submerged spirit nature. It is also sad to see so many people who are effectively owned or enslaved by their possessions. Many find themselves in financial debt while they suffer in unhappy, stressful employment, simply so that they can maintain a false possession-based quality of life. As the great sages would say to them, happiness lies within, and as I have said, it is a state of mind. I wonder how anyone can experience real genuine quality and lasting happiness when they live in ignorance of their spirit nature, and believe they will simply cease to be when they die? There is of course nothing wrong with money itself, it is a useful tool, when it is not given greater significance and value than life itself. If someone has the knack of acquiring money they have a tool that they could easily turn to good use. Rather than worshipping money, and investing it to produce yet more financial wealth, they could channel it into good causes, such as feeding the hungry, and housing the homeless. On the bright side, I believe our true spirit nature is slowly being recognized by a greater and greater number of people, including scientists. As this awareness grows and the knock-on consequences of this are acted upon by governments, business corporations and the like, quality of life should gradually improve for everyone upon this planet. This, of course, will not prevent the lessons that we are each here to experience from unfolding. 
but as spiritual understanding reaches more people this will make it easier for more of us to understand why certain experiences are necessary. To find more quality in life I would suggest living life as a child would, with as much fun as possible. If we can also find it within ourselves to express and share love with more and more people and animals, with fair reason to personal needs, we will literally feel a greater spiritual quality grow within ourselves. Remember also, that one can find greater happiness by sharing happiness, and that this helps to bring more quality of life to us all, because happiness, like laughter, can be infectious.